One of the more common skills that uh, you'll need to work on using when you're dealing with radical expressions is rationalizing the denominator of a fraction. And that just means getting the square root symbol out of the denominator of a fraction before you turn in an answer. Um, and the trick to do that is to recognize uh, that if you have a number that you're taking the square root of, oops, wrong tool, taking the square root of here, say square root of x, and you square it, then effectively that square and that square root cancel each other and you end up with just the x itself. So what we want to do to get a square root out of a denominator is just multiply the denominator by the number you're taking the square root of. So here we'd have to multiply the denominator of this fraction by square root of 3. Then square root of 3 squared would just be 3. And we multiply the numerator by square root of 3 to keep the fraction balanced. And 4 times the square root of 3 is just 4 square roots of 3. If we take a look at the second one here, we have x over root xy. So we need to multiply the top and bottom by root xy. And now we have the square root of xy squared. So the square and the square root cancel. We have just xy in the denominator. And then in the numerator, we have x times the square root of xy. Now we have an x in the numerator and an x in the denominator, so they'll cancel. So our final answer is just the square root of xy over y. Then the second kind of uh, uh, sort of example or the type of rational, uh, radical expression you may need to rationalize the denominator in is when you have more than one term in the denominator. This is just a little bit trickier because you can't just multiply the entire denominator by what's already there or you'll end up with another term in the middle. And let me show you that just really quickly um, why you can't do that. If I were to multiply this by square root of y plus 4, you'll probably recall doing this binomial stuff before, but square root of y squared then would be y, and then you'd have square root of y times 4 is positive 4 roots of y, and then you'd have 4 roots of y again for another 4 square roots of y, and you'd have 4 times 4 is 16. So you end up with more roots of y. This way you have eight of them than you started out with. So that's kind of kind of productive. So what we need to do is use the uh, trick we ran into when we were dealing with uh, difference of squares. When we factor difference of squares, like um, x squared minus y squared, this always factored as x plus y times x minus y. And when we did that, the middle term of the trinomial canceled out. So if we apply that here, and we multiply the denominator by what's called the uh, conjugate, we get the square root of y minus 4 instead of the square root of y plus 4. And now when we multiply it out, we get y times, or square root of y times square root of y is just y, and then the square root of y times negative 4 is negative 4 square roots of y. And then we have 4 square roots of y, so those cancel out. And then we have 4 times negative 4, that's negative 16. So now we've actually gotten rid of that square root in the denominator, which was, of course, the whole goal. Then we just need to multiply the top by square root of y minus 4. And we get 3y roots of y. And negative 4 times 3 or negative 12y. Yeah? Okay, and then the last example, we have 3 roots of x minus 1 in the denominator. So we're going to have to multiply by that by the conjugate, which would be 3 roots of x plus 1. And multiply the numerator by the same thing, 3 roots of x plus 1. So then here, we have 3 times 3, that's 9. And our square roots go away, so just 9x. And then we have the middle term will cancel out, and we'll have negative 1 times 1, that's negative 1. And then in our numerator, we have 2x times 3 square roots of x, so we have 6x roots of x, and 2x times 1 is plus 2x. And that's it. So you can see that it's not that difficult once you get the idea, but you do need to understand this concept of conjugates, and you need to understand the idea that when you square a square root, the square root symbol goes away.